Welcome back. Our sixth race originally scheduled for seven and a half furlongs on the turf will now be run at one mile on a sloppy main track. These are maiden two-year-olds. Full field of 11 runners going to the post. And they're up. Poor beginning for Double Agent. Quick beginning for Abby Seb Brothers, who's looking for the lead. Dance of Freedom is sent hard, trying to maintain his spot down inside. And moving up, Starship Danny to race third in the early run. From the far outside, Captain Stan. Also coming away in the top flight is Congrats You. Then it's Diamondback with Your Dreams Are Mine to his inside. It's a length back toward the outside and settling mid-flight is Dreaming of Clarice. Then down toward the inside, the judge chuckles outside Double Agent. And uh, now trailing the field, it's El Almirante. The race into the backstretch after the opening quarter went in 20 23 and 4. Pretty lively tempo being set here by the leader, Captain Stan, on top by two. Abby Seb Brothers is racing in second from Starship Danny in third. Then it's Dance of Freedom, who's now fourth. It's a stretch of three lengths to congrats you fifth. Your dreams of mine picking it up between horses, getting around Diamondback for the time being. Two and a half lengths of Dreaming of Clarice. Then toward the inside, it's the judge chuckles in front of Double Agent, and El Almirante is a long way behind after a half mile that went in 48 seconds flat. They leave the backstretch and move on to the far turn with Captain Stan to catch. Three wide Starship Danny from between them. It's Abby Seb Brothers. Here's your dreams are mine. Looming behind the speed from fifth with Dance of Freedom riding the inside. Your dreams are mine. will have to wait for clear passage. Installs the momentum there at that top of the stretch run. Dance of Freedom inside with the lead. Abby Seb Brothers and Starship Danny second and third. Your dreams are mine. Now shown open racetrack and continues to close. Here's your dreams are mine now. Up to take the lead. Dance of Freedom tries to stay on second toward the inside. The judge Chuckles now third down the outside, dreaming of Clarice. Final 16th, your dreams of mine is in front. Here comes a run from the judge. Chuckles on the outside. The judge chuckles getting up on the outside, and the judge chuckles wins. The judge chuckles found clear passage in the late stages and ran down your dreams are mine with Dance of Freedom third. Number two, the judge chuckles holds on to get the photo and lights up the board and pays $56.40. Owned by Joel Sainer, trained by Dave Braddy, and ridden to victory today by apprentice Arnie Montanez. The seventh race, one mile, claimer, Phillies and Mayors, three year olds, and up with the big favorite in the race, number seven, out Wildcat. And they're up. Wine Angel is sent for speed with Need You Tonight in My House from down toward the inside. Serataria comes away in the top flight and very wide through the first turn will be Lion Bell and a skirmish for early control. With inside position and the lead, My House working off the fence to lead it a half a length. Wine Angel is there second. Toward the inside, Great Martini now takes third in front of Serataria and Lion Bell. Then it's Lost Stupenda with the favorite out Wildcat in between horses, only about four lengths behind early. A length and a half in front of White Lion, and it's a stretch of another five lengths to the trailer. Need you tonight. They went through the opening quarter in 24 and 1. Wow, on the outside, My House way out in the center, a bit hard to control there. And now backing into the lead is Great Martini without Wildcat and moving into second. Second. My house is now third from White Angel. Fourth, White Lion picks it up with an inside journey. A length and a half to La Stupenda. Then it's two to Saratoria with Lion Bell still wide and four lengths to the trailer. Need you tonight. Less than half a mile to go, and here's the favorite out, Wildcat, and on to the front now, three parts of a length, Great Martini is there, second. It's another two lengths back to third to White Lion, four in front of My House and La Stupenda, they're stringing out behind them, at the 5 16 out Wildcat and Strictly the Boss. Out Wildcat into the top of the stretch, on top by four lengths, White Lion is trying to get after a second, two lengths back, La Stupenda begins to kick into in from third, back fourth, Great Martini, and they're at the top of the stretch. Out Wildcat and by three quarters, and one fourteen and one, and straightens for the drive on a two and a half length lead. Trying to track her down as White Lion from second down the outside and lost to Penn to third. Inside the final furlong, Boca Chica gets to work on out Wildcatten and she gives him plenty. Out Wildcatten at the 16th pole with the four length lead. Lost to Penn is up to second. It will be out Wildcatten in front by two and a half. Lost to Penn to second from White Lion third. My house fourth and need you tonight. 142 and four the running time. It's number seven, Out Wildcat, and the favorite scores for White Wabbit Racing LLC, trained by Jorge Navarro, ridden to victory by Orlando Boca Chica, his third win on the card. The eighth race, originally scheduled for seven and a half furlongs on the turf, now to be run on a mile on the sloppy main track. Phillies and Mares, three and up, scratch the two, scratch the four, and scratch number eight, Sophia Lenore. And they're off. 
From the center, yes, no, got to go. Springs out to take the early lead from Happy Voyage, who moves up on the outside to be second. Toward the inside, Wild Heiress comes away racing in third. Then it's Appella's Wonder and Shot Girl, followed inside by Be Happy Alex, and the early trailer is Ben De Silver. They race around the first turn, chasing the speed of yes, no, got to go, on top by two from Happy Voyage in second. Wild Heiress is now third, a length and a half in front of Shot Girl, fourth with Appella's Wonder to her inside. Be Happy Alex working off the fence and racing second, last and trailing the field is Ben De Silver. They went through the opening quarter in 24 seconds flat. Down the back stretch they go. Yes, no. Gotta go. And Pedro Monterey Jr. lead it by a length and a quarter. Up on the outside the favorite Happy Voyage is there. Second two in front of Wild Eris who's now third. It's another two to Appella's Wonder in fourth. A length better than Shot Girl in fifth. Two and a half lengths back to Be Happy Alex racing along sixth. And it's five lengths to Ben De Silver. Less than half a mile to kick. They move to the far turn. They went the half mile in 48 seconds flat. And the leader continues to be yes, no, got to go. Happy Voyage is now starting to be asked for run while second and up on the outside. Appella's Wonder travels nicely. Appella's Wonder is into a joint second now and five lengths in front of Be Happy Alex, who's fourth with seven lengths to raise and a quarter of a mile to raise it. The favorites in hot water. Appella's Wonder just took the lead. Appella's Wonder straightens for the drive on a five length lead. From the outside, Be Happy Alex running up into second. From the inside, yes, no, got to go than Happy Voyage and Wild Heiress, but inside the final furlong, Appella's Wonder is long gone. It's Appella's Wonder and Diego Gomez to kick off the late pick three as an open length winner. She's 4-1 to one and home safe. Appella's Wonder, easily. Be Happy Alex a clear second. Wild Heiress getting up for third over Happy Voyage. And 141-3. and three. Number six, Appella's Wonder just cruises on the sloppy track, pays $10 to win for Felicio Morales Prado, trained by Manny Weyar, and ridden to victory today by Diego Gomez. We will take a short break and be back in just a few moments for our late Daily Double. Sport of Kings, Florida's most unique venue, located at beautiful Gulfstream Park, has hosted elegant weddings, spectacular concerts, and the grandest of social events. Surrounded by lush gardens, pedestrian promenades, and inviting streetscapes in the signature style of Addison Meisner, Sport of Kings is the ideal venue for intimate gatherings or groups as large as 500. Our events coordinators and audio and visual production specialists can customize the room to any needs, while our chefs can create scrumptious menus. For information on holding your next event at Gulfstream Park's Sport of Kings, call our event specialists at 954 Four five seven six one eight six. Welcome back. The ninth race, maiden claimers, maiden two-year-olds. The claiming price, one hundred thousand dollars. Note the number four overstand is a gelding. And they're up. Last in, first out, Svetik gets the first call, moving up Bluegrass Luck to challenge, and Marvino is away, way racing in third. Up and left is now fourth, just moving up now Dancing King to take that spot. Four lengths in front of Overstand. Then to the inside, it's Yakov. Second last is Ven Holiday, and last of all, the best of Eddington. They make their way down the backstretch, chasing the speed of Svetik, who leads it by a half a length while trying to work closer to the inside. Up and left is on the inside, and between horses, Bluegrass Luck. Four wide out there and starting to improve now is Dancing King, and Marvino takes the worst of it five deep, three and a half in front of Overstand. Then it's a length and a half to Yakov, who's three in front of Van Holiday, and the best of Eddington continues last, and Bluegrass Luck is in front. At the 5-16th, Bluegrass Luck leads after the quarter went in 22-3. and three. Dancing King moves up on the outside second, up and left is third. Here's Overstand coming on well, needing racing room now. Marvino's had a tough go of it, and they're at the top of the stretch. Bluegrass Luck has the lead by two. Dancing King is second. Marvino starts to find his best ride, and Overstand and continues to chip away with an eighth of a mile to go. Bluegrass Luck, Gamely hanging on to the lead for Louis Castillo. Down the center, Overstand's into second, but the debut is a winning one for Bluegrass Luck. He wins by three. Overstand second, close third. Dancing King trying to hold on over the hard charging, the best of Eddington from last, and the final time was 112 and two. Number six, Bluegrass Luck. First time starter scores, pays $39.40 for Just For Fun Stable. Trained by Juan Arias, ridden to victory today by Luis Castillo. Tenth and final race, originally scheduled at a mile and the 16th on the turf. Now to be run on the main track, Phillies and Mares, three-year-olds and upward scratch number four, Angels Girl. And runners away. 
Per the inside, Party Till Dawn gets the first call with Oceano Gatto quickly up to challenge. Ill Considered comes away racing in third and up on the outside, Sweet Dreamin is away in early fourth. They're followed by Useful Barry and Bird Muddiful on the outside. It's a stretch of another two and a half lengths back toward the inside to Cabrini Light. Second last outside, Ronan Victoria and five lengths to the trailer, Lastoshka. The race into the first turn, chasing the speed of Party Till Dawn, who leads at three parts of a length. Oceano Gatto is applying pace pressure while second and three lengths in front of Ill Considered, who's taken in hand to race third. Useful Barry is fourth, spotted about five lengths behind, a length and a half in front of Sweet Dreamin, followed inside by Cabrini Light, Bird Muddiful losing ground, moving by her Ronan and Victoria, and it's ten lengths last, the trailer, Lastoshka. Opening quarter went in 23 and four, sharp pace being set after a half mile in 48 and three. They now kick it to the far turn. With the lead, it's still party till dawn by a length and a half from Oceano Gatto in second. Riding the inside, Ill Considered is still a patient third in front of Useful Berry fourth. Cabrini Light and Ronan Victoria have both made steady ground from the backfield. They're four and a half in front of an outside running Sweet Dream and then Bird Muddiful and Lastoshka is trying to make touch from the far backside as there's now five sixteenths to go. They went through three quarters in one fourteen and two and party till dawn continues to lead. Ronan Victoria with this long sustained run from the back. She's now into third with Within two of the lead with four wide and trying to save ground Cabrini Light. They're at the top of the stretch with the lead. Party Till Dawn. Ronan Victoria down the center of the sloppy main track and taking over the lead. Party Till Dawn tries to stay with her second. Cabrini Light is off cover and coming on third. Now wandering a bit Ronan Victoria and Party Till Dawn kicks game. Party Till Dawn get game inside for Edgar Zayas. She kicks back and she'll win it. Party Till Dawn game and victory. Ronan Victoria no excuse second from Cabrini Light third. Lastoshka did make ground. She got at fourth in front of Oceano Gatto, who completes your high five. Number three, Party Till Dawn fights back to score for owner Frank Carl Calabrese, trained by Mike Petro, ridden to victory today by Edgar Zayas. The pick four, four of four, 772 25. Pick five, only four of five, $73.25. We'll have a carryover going into Friday of $7,173.66. The Rainbow Six, only five of six, $2,846.70. The carryover, $4,148.67. And that wraps up Thursday's card. We still have live action here at Gulfstream Park West on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And on Saturday, stakes action again with the Gin Rummy Champ, three-year-olds and up going five furlongs on the turf. Gulfstream Park West. Good night and good luck. <laughs>